Hi everyone, I am Dr. Praveen. You know, this year I have recorded a concept videos. You might be wanting to know what exactly is the difference of a regular video and a concept videos. Yes, there are a lot of things to be talked about when it's coming about the next exam and the need PG being stopped. But as a second year student, does this thought really come to your mind? Yes, partially yes. But what should come to your mind more is whether you are able to understand these subjects in your respective years or not. So in the first year, you, you mainly focus on the first year subjects. In the second year, you mainly focus on the second year subjects. Yes, you have a lot to cover. But as you all have been told by some of your uh, seniors, I'm very sure about it, that one book you must read from cover to cover is a textbook of Robbins. And we all have started doing that, isn't it? But is it easy to cover Robbins? Well, you all have the answer yourself. What is the main problem there? The language, yes. The fluency, yes. The way to make the points in a conceptual manner. The way to make a question point in a paragraph manner. So we all have different ways of understanding the stuffs. And when someone makes it easy, you really want to understand. You really want to give your maximum to understand that topic and not only understanding the topic, also to solve the questions from there. We'll move to the next exam. The next exam will be for you. For the second year students, it will be before the starting of the internship well so you all want to cover your main topics before the internship right so how can i as a teacher help you that is the concept videos what exactly is the concept videos see the concept videos flows is like general pathology hemat and then systemic pathology but when i talk about any topic in general pathology it's not completely path only please understand pathology is an integration of medicine surgery gynae of pediatrics so suppose I talk about a topic of quashiorca or a marasmus. As a regular video, I need to tell you what is a marasmus or a quashiorca. But when I am in a second year concert videos, I need to tell you what is the difference and why does the edema happen in quashiorca? Why is the protein getting lost in quashiorca? Well, the same thing is only calorie deficiency in marasmus. Similarly, when I talk about the immune thromocytic purpura in type 2 hypers interactions, I did not tell a regular student what ITP is. For a second year student, it becomes very difficult for them to understand what the ITP is. So I need to tell you the bleeding occurring in the mucosal area or the skin areas. So yes, the main difference of the regular videos and the console videos is how I explain the stuffs. The main content remains same. It can't be different, right? Pathology can't be different for someone who is in final year or a post intern or even a MD in pathology or a DM in hematopathology and a someone who is in second year. It will be the same. But the way to explain the things will be surely different. So when I am putting this concept videos, I have ensured when I use a term which I know that you will not be able to understand in your second year, I explain that. I talk about pneumonia, I tell you what pneumonia is. When I talk about ARDS, I tell you what ARDS is. I do not use the short forms a lot in your concept videos. It really helps you to make your base very ready and strong. And then from that base, you build upon to read the hematology part and the surgical pathology part. When you move to surgical pathology, when I talk about any chapter i ensure to discuss a case scenario also because you all know the next exam will be all based on the case scenarios see you cannot depend upon your seniors who have not even appeared for the next exam and take a advice from them because they haven't appeared from them themselves so you are the person who are being the first people to uh, to appear for the next exam and therefore it is your responsibility to understand every topic and make your juniors understand also what exactly mbbs is all about well not only this the Concept videos will discuss every every chapter and not leaving out anything else. Some topics which are not even taught in your regular uh, classes because not not only because it is not required but because the NMC has gradually decreased your um, actual reading stuffs. But what I've done in concept videos, I've, I've covered all of those. Why? Because disease still occurs, right? The bone, muscles, peripheral nerves, skin don't they occur? They surely occur, and this will be surely required in your final exams. So when you make your base very correct in this year, I can tell you for sure, you will be the one person who will surely come out the best in your next exam. Remember, it's happening before the internship, right? Okay, sir, once I do this, what next? So once you read my notes and, and see my videos, read my notes, which you have made in your own handwriting, that's my perspective of making notes. Then you move to question bank. Once you move to the question bank, you also have some tests to appear for that. So, notes, QBank, testing. If you have any issues, you can reach out to me on Telegram and put it out there. I'll solve for you. Again, go back to the same cycle. It is the notes, it is 
QBank and tests. That is what you need right now. There's nothing else you need right now. So based on these basic things, if you are in second year, concept videos is the right thing for you. Read it once and you will understand the difference between what I teach and what actually is being taught in the regular areas. So starting today, please watch the concept videos. And if you have any difficulty, let me know. I am here, Dr. Praveen Kaur Gupta, to help you in your journey into the MBBS, reaching to the best of your success career. Take care. Goodbye.